problem is that radiometric dating techniques use false assumptions. Now the basic false assumptions are things like this. Number one, they assume that we know the exact mix of radioactive material and the decay elements in the rock uh, that were there at the time the rock formed. Of course, this is a very false assumption because no scientist was there when the rock formed. No scientist can tell you that there was no daughter product in the rock to start with. No scientist can tell you that there was only parent element in the rock to begin with. And so this is a very false assumption to say that we know the starting conditions when we were not there. We were not present. A second false assumption in all radiometric dating processes is that the radioactive element always decays at the same unvarying, constant, uniform, etc. rate. And another would be that no elements have gotten into or out of the rock since it formed. You see, there's an assumption that there's a closed system, which of course doesn't exist in nature to begin with. Now let's reevaluate that for a second. There was no scientist who was there at the time the rock formed. No scientist can tell you the amount of anything that was there. Uh, and for example, if I had a, a rock, let's say it weighs uh, one pound, and 50% uh, of the rock was uranium U-238, and 50% of the rock was lead-206, and you assume that uh, the half-life is uh, four and a half billion years based on charts that have been established, then you would date this rock as being four and a half billion years old. However, you weren't there when the rock formed and you can't certify that the entire rock was 100% uranium. So let's think for a second. What if, you know, what if 49.999% of the rock was, uh, was lead to start with? That only 0.0001% of the lead in the rock had actually come from the decay of uranium that was in the rock. Well, this would vastly, vastly influence the way you thought about the age of that particular rock and would make it very young by comparison, regardless of the ratios of what's in there. And, of course, uh, the idea that elements have not gotten in or out. Well, various radioactive elements actually do dissolve in water. They can be leached in or leached out of a deposit. Uh, the various byproducts, the various daughter elements, again, for instance, lead. Uh, lead can be moved by simply acid rain flowing through a formation. And so we know that, uh, well, uranium can be moved in and out of a deposit. We know that lead can be moved in and out of a deposit. You have no idea how much has been added or subtracted of any of these things while it was sitting in the ground. And so this throws all of these various methods completely askew, and they're absolutely unreliable.